morning everybody. Welcome back to day 12, I believe, of the 100 day project. Today I've just, um, I'm working on a couple of journals and I thought this, this, this would be a fun little project. Um, it's just a little, like a notebook <clears throat> pocket thingy. I don't know what we'll call it. Um, but inside I've just created like an extra little notepad and then I've got a couple of pockets and then I thought also um, we could what you would do when this is glued down you could have it you know floating and tucked in a pocket but if you wanted to glue it down then obviously we would take the um, the string and put it behind before we glued it down and then I thought well that creates another um, <clears throat> sorry let me just get a little tag so then you'd have another tuck spot behind here and then um, like I said if the string is attached to the journal page then you can tie it um, so we have a pocket here a pocket there and a pocket on the exterior or you could have a side pocket that would be cute as well and then you've got the additional little um, pages and I would normally have used um, coffee or tea dyed paper, but um, I'm getting really low on that. So I can see next week I'm going to need to uh, spend a day doing some tea dyeing. Um, so that's the project for today. I'm going to work on. Um, and I went ahead and kind of prepped everything just to try to make this go a little bit smoother. Let me get my... I'll show you how it started out. <clears throat> and then we'll work on, um, work on one together. So, it started out... I've taken my scrapbook paper and I've cut it at... So that way you guys can pause it. Four inches by eight and a half. And I've scored it at three and a half inches and seven and a quarter inch. So if this is on your scoring board, that's your three and a half, and then that's the seven and a quarter mark. And then I've come back and rounded the corners. I just kind of like, I think it makes it look a little more finished to do that. And then you just cut couple of little um, coordinating pieces and I always like to take my um, little circle punch and just make a little notch so it's easier to get your tag and then you'll just glue those down and then your notepad can be machine stitched in there you could do a three hole pamphlet stitch or um, on this one that we're working on today <coughs> I thought for anyone that doesn't have a sewing machine, it would be nice to show you guys an alternative. And, you know, it's not as secure, but in some respects, it's a better way of doing it. This is just tying it within the little, um, what are we going to call this? This I don't know. My brain's a little slow this morning. But just tie it off within there. And the other, the good thing about this is once you've used it, you can continually refill it. So... I just wanted to show an alternative for people who don't have a sewing machine. So, the, so you've got the dimensions, and obviously, you know, if that's I do mine to fit in, the, you know, my size journals. You can tweak that to whatever it's, you know, your size journal you're working on. So, okay, so I've done everything in advance, and. I went ahead and tied that in. We're just going to very quickly do this one because I want to keep this short today. I've got, um, it's the weekend here and I've got a lot of um, projects I need to do today. Daisy is getting her food made is one of the projects. So I've got to make this a quick video, but I'm trying to, to not drop behind on it so very quickly I just get we've got the paper in all I'm going to do now is just glue the pocket 
Yeah, I, I didn't sleep great last night. I was thinking of, well, what am I going to do? And I thought, really, I should have just got up and started um, creating, but it's difficult when, you know, you don't want to wake other people, especially if I get the sewing machine going. So I'm just going to glue this one in the other side. I really hope this weekend I get a bit of time to catch up on some uh, videos from people. It's so hard to find time in the week. So you can see how quick that is. I mean, especially when you've got the measurements, you know, because when I did it this morning, it took a little bit longer because you're trying to figure out what size would work. And then just flip it over. And here I've just taken the one inch um, punch and I punched out like a really sturdy um, bit of cardboard. You need something, or either that or just maybe three layers of your cardstock, depending on how uh, firm your cardstock is. And then the brad will just get that positioned in. I love this paper. I picked this up. I told you guys my um, the stationery shop here is closing which I am so so sad about because they actually carried a really decent um, selection of crafting supplies and oh, I'm so sad to see I'm going but <clears throat> I picked up this paper pack and it was 50% off and it is really beautiful papers totally shabby chic sorry I'm going to take this off camera so I can see it Okay, so that there we go, and I'm just going to tie this with some linen thread because I, I do like to look at those, and then these will be ready. I can always tweak the um, the linen thread if I need to. Um, if I, you know, am going to glue this into the journal, <clears throat> I'll just um, come back and, and change that. And I've decided I like it doubled up. That I did a single, and I think it just looks a little bit nicer doubled. And the other good thing about doing it doubled like this, that way you've got the ability to come back and um, you can change that um, if you're going to glue this in because you're going to, you know, you're going to want it a little bit different. So. Just tuck that in behind. And there we go. Those I will need to snip. Let me snip those off. I don't like that showing. Um, and then that way I've got the ability. I can um, I can just take that off, run a bead of glue, get the um, twine glued down, and then I can just have this attached. Because I like the idea of that being in there so that we can, um, isn't that going to be nice? And then I think it'd be really nice to have it open on this end because that way I can glue that, tie it off, and have my little um, additional tag. So you got, th it's going to hold three tags. You got your extra little notepad. So that's it for, um, for that idea, guys. I've got a whole stack of these that I've pre-cut and um, and I'm getting ready to try to to get going on so I hope you guys have enjoyed that um, I appreciate so much everybody's been so encouraging on this and I am so so grateful to you guys for that 
welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, it's I really hope that you'll enjoy my channel, and I'm just really, really grateful to you guys. It's um, it's been surprising to me uh, how many people have enjoyed the challenge, which is amazing. I never ever dreamed that um, so many people would be interested in this kind of thing. So I'm really delighted that it's it's went as well as as it has, and. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm off to, hopefully, to the car boot tomorrow, but I've got to check the forecast and make sure it's going to, you know, the weather will permit. So that's my plans for the weekend. I hope you guys stay safe. Hope you get a chance to do some crafting, and I will see you back here very, well, I'll see you back here tomorrow with another project. <laughs> Take care. Bye.